everybody, it's me, Scooter. Welcome back to the studio and welcome to the first of the Adobe Audition Basics. Today we're going to be starting with Record, Edit and Save. The first thing we need to do is open a new file and you do that pretty much the same way that you open a document in Microsoft Word, for instance. You can do that by clicking File and New. or you can hit Control N on your keyboard. Now next you'll need to choose your preferred sample rate and your channels and your resolution. I recommend 44100 hertz for the sample rate, mono for voice, and I like to record in 32-bit. Really it's up to you and more importantly up to the person or the client for whom you're recording the file. Just ask them. Now it's time to record so let's hit OK and let's check our levels. Now, levels basically tell us whether you're too loud or too quiet. Is your mixer, whether software or hardware mixer, set too high or too low for mic input? To do that, you can either press F10 and speak into the mic at a reasonable level, and then a little bit louder. Now, if you see red, back off on the in input levels. You can also do a test recording, and that is our next step. How to record. My preferred record button, so to speak, is the combination of the control button and the space bar. And that's simply because I like keyboard shortcuts. Of course, you can also click this handy record button. And we are off and running. The quick brown fox grew tired of jumping over the lazy dog. So he ran around him instead. All right, next, either click the stop button right over here or press the space bar. Now let's play it back and either the uh, space bar or the uh, play button right here will do that. The quick brown fox grew tired of jumping over the lazy dog, so he ran around him instead. Now that leads to editing. Let's edit out this part by highlighting it and pressing delete on our keyboard. And this part here, we don't need that either. Hit delete, it's gone. You know what? Too much space here. I like that. Hit delete again, it's gone. Let's play the entire file again to be sure everything sounds good, and then we'll save it. The quick brown fox grew tired of jumping over the lazy dog, so he ran around him instead. All right, sounds good. So we save it by hitting Control S on the keyboard or by going to File, Save As, and want to check, want to make sure you're saving it as the right kind of file. Your client said he or she wants a WAV file. And we've called it Test One WAV, Test One dot WAV. And that's it. You've created an audio file. Is that all there is to it? No. But it's the basics of recording and editing in Audition. Now, next time, I'll show you how to edit out a mistake by pasting new audio over top of the old audio and then adjusting the levels with just a click of the mouse. I hope you'll be here.